Okay guys, here we are in FL Studio. I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do automation clips and automation in general inside FL Studio. Now, there's two particular ways to do it. It works differently with FL plugins and external plugins. So what we'll do, we'll load up two synths, we'll load up a native FL synth and a third party of some kind. And I'll just show you how we can link those two up and then how we can use one clip to control multiple things as well. So let's grab two different things. If we hit F8, we can get our browser and let's take Harmer and something really easy. Uh, we'll take Bass Master since we've been using that. Okay, so firstly, we'll do it with a native plugin, and it's actually really quite simple. If we just make a very quick pattern, we'll just do a singular note. Just so we've got something to work with it. Fab, so we now just have one note in Harmer. And let's say we just want to modulate that filter cutoff just here. It's as simple as right clicking, and then we create automation clip. Now it will create a clip based on anything we've got highlighted. So if we have a loop highlighted, it will be the length of that. If we don't have anything highlighted, it will be the length of a track. If we have um, one region highlighted, it will be the length of that region. So in this case, it's just made us a little four bar loop just there. And to edit it, we can right click at any point and that will create a new automation point for us. And we can move those. And between the two points here, we have a handle and the handle will introduce a curve for us. If we are to right click on the automation point, we've got some other options as well. We can delete it, but we can also change what the handle does and add different types of curves in. So we can have dual curves, for example. We can create sort of pulsing squares and things like that. So if we were to click on the end here, we could do a step bit of automation here and we could have it move down in steps like that. And now over those four bars, that's going to affect Harmer's filter cutoff. <laughs> Now for it to work in something that isn't native to FL, so we've got Bass Master here from Loop Masters. And for this, we have to do something a little bit different. So let's get a single note for Bass Master as well. So you'll notice on here, if you right click, you just get learn MIDI CC and things like that. That's, uh, that's not really any use to us. We're not using MIDI CC commands to do this. So to create that automation clip, we have to touch this control, which is the cutoff in this case. We then go into tools, last tweaked, and we need to make sure at the top it says the correct thing there. So we've got base master, filter cutoff, automation, perfect. Now we're gonna create an automation clip from that. Exactly the same principle from there, it works in the same way. And it's even gonna maintain the same slopes and things that we had before. easy as that. Now, once we've created an automation clip, we can use it to do many different things. So for example, we could have this one clip control multiple parameters. So let's say for just for example, we wanted to control Harmer's cutoff with exactly the same filter type. Now we could create it, copy it, make it unique, link it to Harmer, or if we right click on the parameter of say Harmer that we want to link it to, we can choose link to controller and in here we can choose what we're going to map it to. Now we've got base master filter cutoff as a controller. So we can select that, we can tell it to remove conflicts and it will now respond to this automation clip. And this automation clip will now be controlling Harmer. But because we removed the conflict, 
it's no longer working with Base Master. So if we tweak the control again, the cutoff, we can then do Tools, Last Tweaked, and we can do the same thing here. We can link to controller. And we're going to link it to that same thing, but this time we don't want to remove the conflicts. And now we'll be able to see both of these filter cutoffs are going to be controlled by that same piece of automation. Cool, huh? So I hope that was helpful for you. I hope you now understand how to use automation clips inside FL Studio, and I will see you guys on the next video.